Good morning, day 291. I am, I just crossed the Florida line. I got a wild <laughs> idea to drive. Uh, we have a second home in Florida and I'm almost there. I just decided to get in the car and go. Um, it wasn't completely unplanned, but it was, uh, anyway, you guys don't need to know that. You don't care about that. Day 291, Galatians chapter 3. Woo, I titled today Promises. That was the word that popped out to me. And promise is an assurance that something will happen. And God's promise to us with this freedom through having faith and find, accepting the message of grace, accepting that we are loved, and then living in that freedom is a promise. And so Paul goes back and talks about the law and why the law was necessary. And again, it all comes back to the law of paradox, the overall law of paradox. And because we as human beings are linguist, linguistic beings, we use language to describe and understand our experiences and we label things, we can't know what freedom is unless we have experienced what feels like captivity. And, and we can't know that the law is what does that unless we've been subject to it and tried to live by it. And then we ourselves go through that process of like, oh, I can't, I can't, it's hard. And we finally open our hands to the message of grace. So it's something that even though we, the promise has been fulfilled and we have access to the faith and love, but we've always had access to it. That is the, what Paul says in Galatians 3 is that it was given even to Abraham and before Moses and when the law, they were side by side. Um, and we needed the law and its impact on us and how it makes us feel so that when we found freedom, we would, under, we would feel free. Like we can't know freedom without feeling captive. And a promise doesn't exist unless and something comes into being and it, an assurance of something happening unless there was also something that wasn't there before that is there. Well, you see, like, are you tracking with me? This is kind of, this is me, Felicia, buying what Paul is, is saying. And it was like, oh, of course. And even as humans, we still need to do that. And, um, you know, even as we grow from baby humans into adult humans, we have to have the guardrails and the are literally our guardians and our parents that give us rules. We have, you know, rules of society to live in harmony um, that keep us safe. Like rules in and of themselves can be a good thing. But what people do when they try to be fulfilled and fill themselves up from the inside, outside, it just doesn't work. Um, it's temporary. Even like think of food. We eat food and it's just temporary. It fills us up, but then we get hungry again. And when we finally find freedom, we find complete satisfaction that doesn't, not only does it have to not be refilled, it's satisfying, ongoing and sustaining that living water that we, it just overflows from us. But we can't experience that unless we've experienced the opposite of it. And that's why I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. I, I'm starting to get it anyway. Like I said, I got to get my walking shoes. I got to go shoe shopping and get my walking shoes. Because <laughs> I got to, you got to walk this out. This is how humans become in the being, in the becoming. We are, I uh, heard a great quote this morning. We are human becomings. And I thought, yes, yes, I love that. Human becomings. Um, I certainly am now. I was just a human being. I was a human doing. And now I'm a human becoming. Woo. 
and I want to encourage everybody else to accept the promise of love and freedom and faith and um, that's offered to us. So anyway, Galatians chapter three, I'm going to keep it short today so I can, and I got my doggos in the car, so we're going to um, get, get on down the road. All right. Bye.